They're in St. Helens territory in their opening set, which is something Saints failed to do. This now is Williams gets it away to Tompkins. Good wide ball to Joe Burgess. He has Gildart in support on his inside. And Gildart just as they... That's one of the telling points in a big derby game, Eddie. Wasn't a bad first touch for Barber, to be fair. And here he is now. Gets it wide. And that bounces off right. Morgan, it's Gildart again. And Gildart down the line. He's beaten Barber for pace. It's a second try for Wigan. Second try. Goes down tackle number five. Stay on. And leaves them behind and earns this penalty. And Williams from a scrum situation. The supporters would love him to do it again now. Lomax and finds that man Barber. Who gets to the corner? He's got it down! He has got it down as Ben Barber. Well, it hasn't been given yet by Robert Hicks. But they have a try on the field. There was nothing wrong with the grounding from our view up here. And it's just a question of whether his feet, I suppose, straight over the whitewash. But I think they're miles away, Stuart. Yeah, well, I think he's just bothered about how the ball gets to the ground. And that'll be why. Oh! Oh, is it stolen? Anthony Gellin's hand is on the ball. Is it enough to say it's stolen? Well, does it simply just come out of his grasp? There's certainly an action to, towards the ball. Well, it's no try. I think we know that, don't we? Or is it? Well, is it? it? Because it could, if, it, if the ball's been stolen and then grounded correctly, then it will be a try. You could go back to the challenge cup last week, couldn't you? Well, you could, but let's deal with this one. It's <laughs> definitely helped on its way. Definitely helped on its way. There's definitely a hand in there from Anthony Gellin. Well, I think that ball's been pulled out by Anthony Gellin. So it goes to ground. Should be play on with the advantage. And Ben Barber puts his hand on top of the ball to score the try. This could be mystic Phil. <laughs> yes, he got the crystal ball out. Did Clarkey, no doubt about that. But the ball has come free. Last I don't touch think, by what it's worth, what my opinion, I don't think it should be a try. You can't hold on to the ball when you're going over the try line then. The defenders are going to be a wrestler. Does that happen so quickly? I think really it doesn't deserve to be a try. It didn't deserve last week when Wigan had that Tony Club incident at Wembley. And for me, that shouldn't be a try here tonight. Well, the thing with Ben Barber, when he's in possession, he doesn't lose the ball at any, any point other than when it is pulled out by um, Anthony Gelling in a three, what is a three-man tackle. You know, he's going onto the ball. He never ever parts from the ball, but from that point when he's pulled out. So I think that's a ball steal. Ball's then grounded correctly, and I think this should be a try. Well, it's Ben Thaler who has the decision, and he's given. He knocked it back, whoever, with the best player, and then still have the overlap, but they didn't find the man. I agree, Phil. I think the Wigan side, Hiller, took a, a mental snapshot of that, and we'll see that again. Sean Wayne, he thinks his side could have done a little bit better. A mistake has happened. Time off. Is he he's injured. In go away, he's injured. Tackle two. Didn't time off. Look at the tackle tackle there. two. Let's go away, guys. Let's see if he's Wigan off. player comes diving in. Mate, he's injured. He McCarthy. McCarthy's guard comes in for the strike. Let's go away, boys. Well, Sano attacks the, the, uh, the left. Good, solid defence. On the goal line from the Saints, Wormsley again heavily involved, Powell, Williams, back it goes to Lulawai, here's a Lachlan short ball, Tompkins, Gelling is in! Anthony Gelling, get it! Had a break this year, the World Club Championship of course, which they won, and then Wembley, which they lost in the big cup run, here goes Burgess, oh, he skinned him down the line, he has got some support from Williams, here is Williams, Wigan in again! Wigan in again, and the coach on his feet. Lomax, good tackle by Williams. Now Matty Smith, Thompson again, Douglas again. Turned, he thought, out of trouble from Isa straight into Bateman. Roby, here is Lomax. Zebteir, it's opened up for Zebteir! Think Zebteir scored. Robert Hicks does as well. Is this the time for a St. Helens comeback? There's a long way to go. Wigan. Yeah, definitely play the, at the ball by Liam Farrell. Offers St. Helens the opportunity with Zeb Taya. Gets the ball away to Barber. He in turn finds Mark Percival. Percival straightens it up. He nearly got through. Important.
Brilliant tackle again by Willie Eisner. Roby, five metres out, fires the ball to Smith. Smith then to Lomax. Lomax to Peru. Peru gets it wide. Nakinson over in the corner for St. Helens. Wigan hits Saints with two tries in two minutes. Earlier on, it's now two in four for St. Helens. Makinson with the try, inching towards a career 100 now. What we, what a last quarter we've got here now. That's a tremendous pass over the top from Peru. All come from the work of the hooker, James Robit. Liam Farrell sticks his foot out. Six to go. Players running into space with purpose, with zest. And Wigan defenders, some in, some out. Uncertain and anxious now in this last quarter. That's a quality pass this now. Look at that from Peru. Sucks in Burgess. Has the ability to offload that ball. Having that area just continues to produce players for them. Yeah, the pool is